I'm going to show you how to operate your LEDs from any Arduino device from JRMR. I just like this right here. And you can see as I click on, the LEDs come on. Now I'm not going to go through all eight of them because that'll take up too much time, but you get the idea. So let's get going with that right now. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And today I'm going to use CMRI within JMRI. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a real easy setup. I've been playing around with it for some time now. I've been making a lot of mistakes on it. And after I got all the mistakes out of the way, I'm going to show you how to do it real easy. So right after this. If you're new to this channel and have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell so you can be notified whenever I have a new video coming out. And don't forget to answer all those questions about the notifications too. So check out my playlists. I have a lot of playlists in there. I have over 500 videos in over 40 playlists, so you could find them very easily. So let's get going right now with this and don't forget to subscribe. The first thing you're going to have to do is find the example sketches and the libraries on GitHub and I'll show it to you right here. Okay, the first one in the list is Mad Leech. Arduino CMRI and you're going to want to click on that and that'll bring you to what you need to do. It's Arduino CMRI and it shows you all the requirements for it. You need JMRI and you also need the IDE for Arduino. So what you need to do is click on this where it says code and download zip. And since I already have it, it shows Arduino CMRI dash master one. Since I already have it, so what you want to do is save it and extract it. And then once you extract it, you put it in the Arduino folder on your computer. And you can see over here, I got it in documents, Arduino, and we'll come down to libraries here. And once you extract everything, you're going to want to drag it over to into your libraries. And you can see I have Arduino CMRI slash master. And here is all the example sketches on here. Here's the sketch that we're going to be using today. You can see I start off with include the library CMRI, CMRI semicolon, and it defaults to S mini with address zero with the 24 inputs and 24 outputs. And in the setup, you have the serial begin 9600, serial 8N2. And then what I put in here, I put in serial.println and then the name of the file. And I'll show you why, because I have a lot of different uh, Arduinos and it's a good idea to, you know, if you don't know what is loaded on the Arduino, all you have to do is plug it in and click on that and it'll show you what file is in your Arduino. Okay, so the next line is for integer i equal two. So that means we're going to start off with two and I is less than or equal to nine and we're going to end at nine and we're going to step through it adding one each time. So the pin mode I and it's going to step through two, three, four, five and it's going to announce all of them as outputs. Okay, so pin mode, pin mode 12 is an input. I'm putting that in there just for later use. We're not going to be using that today. So we're going to go down to the void loop and this is just a description here, build up the packet. Okay, CMRI process. This is part of the library. You know, start it all off with that. And we're going to do digital write to CMRI get bit zero. And then same thing with three, get bit one, all the way down to get bit two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
okay and then this last one here we're not going to talk about here because that's the input we're not using that on this sketch today but that's what we're using today the cmri many outputs so let's take a look at jmri right now I'm going to start up Panel Pro and I'm going to make a new one. You can see I already have one in here, so I'm going to make it new. I'm going to call it CMRI and hit OK. And so we're going to start fresh from right there. OK, now you'll see the preferences come up. And what you want to do is come over here and check c slash mri and system connection is going to be serial if you're using windows okay serial port i have my mega already hooked up and it's on com port 8 we're going to leave this over here as c connection name cmri i'm going to leave that the same additional connection settings we're going to click on that and it has 19200 bps we're going to change that to 9600 bps because that's what we're communicating with in our sketch so the first thing we want to do is configure nodes so we want to add a node so we click over here on add node let me bring this up into the center and you'll see right here it says minus one we're going to make that zero and then we don't have to change anything right here and we'll just uh, give it a description and i'll make it uh, arduino cmri and we'll click add node and done and it tells you remember to save your cmri node information to disk so we have to do that in in the preferences but you could see the address for the first node is zero it's a s mini 24 bits per card in cards three this stuff right here you don't have to worry about right here the in bits and out bits you you, ha you have as many as 48 outputs on there and there's the description we'll hit done okay so what you want to do is click on save and that's going to tell you to restart it restarts automatically we'll come over to cmri and it opens up and it, you can see right here active profile cmri cmri using serial on com port 8 java version right there okay we're going to come over to preferences and we want uh, something to happen at startup so we're going to come over here at startup and we want to open up the table okay we want to perform action and open uh, we want to put light table so let's look for light table right here okay click OK click add okay click save you must restart okay CMRI and you'll see it brings up the light table we're gonna add four LEDs on here and we're gonna give it a couple of leading zeros and we're going to call it light 001 we'll close that out and what we'll do is we'll save it up here store up here arduino leds which i already made a file for it so with the first time you're going to have to do it you're going to have to create a file to put it put the information into so let's take a look to see what this does on our device i'm going to click on and we got the light coming on click off the light comes off 
on off okay so we got the first one working so let's add a little bit more to this we'll add all eight of them now I'll go through the same process of adding all the lights but I won't put you through the agony of watching me do all eight of them so we're just going to go over here and I'll go to the next one 002 and then hit L-I-G-H-T two. Okay, now you'll see once I hit create, it'll put it up there and it'll still show down here. So all we have to do is come over here, backspace on the two, put in a three and do the same thing right here. Backspace and put a three and then hit create. There we have all eight of them created light one through eight all designated as cl001 through cl008 so we'll close click on this and then come up here and save to store it store configuration only to file okay so we'll put it in arduino leds store click ok to overwrite it let's close this out and quit and we'll restart UCMRI and there you have all eight of your LEDs on there let's bring up the other screen and see what happens all right so now we have all eight of them over here so we're gonna go boom on 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 yeah see all eight of them are on so we'll turn them all off again and there you have it that's all there is to it there is an unlimited amount of possibilities with arduino and jmri this is just the beginning with cmri i just touched the surface of it just the setup of it but you could add inputs, you could add multiple outputs, you could add multiple Arduinos, you could use any kind of Arduinos, you could use the Nanos, the Unos, the Megas, anything that you want. The possibilities are unlimited. If you would like to see an in-depth version of this and other videos, then join in on the membership of Tom's Trains and Things. I'll have a link to it in the description there's a lot of benefits to it and you get your, your name highlighted in the comments and in the live chat when i do a live stream every monday night so until the next time we'll see ya show your support and become a member by smashing that join button.